hi all so welcoming you to a new topic that is let's discuss about the foods that are cooling during the summer climate or summer cooling foods so why this topic is so relevant let me tell you one thing yes we are coming to the summer climate after the cold climate so there is a transition period from the cold to the hot climate so during the cold climate we know we are having heavy appetite at that time we will be taking many of the non-veg items and many of the food items why because our body can digest it but how about the summer climate during the summer climate our body is not capable to digest these food items so if it is not capable to digest these food items what is happening yeah we will be feeling low in energy level and we will be thinking oh my god i am taking that energy drink i am taking these juices why i am not feeling so healthy so in this video i will be telling you about what all food items we have to avoid and what all food items we have to take so if what happens if you are following the same routine or same food style during the cold climate one thing i can tell you as your digestive power is less there are chances that you can develop diarrhea or you can develop cholera type of symptoms so why this diarrhea or cholera type of symptoms is happening because of the increased body heat the body cannot digest it when the body cannot digest it what it will be doing it will be throwing out the wastes so this throwing out the wastes is happening here so let's discuss about the number of the culprits who are in a row for actually degrading our health in the summer climate so first thing is regarding the sugar yeah i know that whenever you feel so hot what will be the first thing that is coming to your mind let me drink a juice filled with 1 to 2 teaspoon of sugar am i right yeah 80% of the people who see this will be thinking like that but why we think like that because we are actually prone to that visual media isn't it whatever we see we believe that is what i have to tell you so we have seen in ad and we have seen in somewhere that when we drink like that we are feeling more energetic that's nothing like that okay what is happening here so what is sugar sugar is actually processed from sulfuric acid so if a product is processed from sulfuric acid how it will be creating your body will it be giving you alkaline thing no it is creating your body into an acidic environment so as it is creating an acidic environment in the body next main thing is it is actually producing empty calories so this empty calories what they are doing they are again producing heat inside your body when it is producing heat inside your body however juices you are taking you will not at all be satisfied i can tell you one thing after taking any juice or any items that is cold and filled with sugar next thing what you will be thinking is that let me take some drinking water so if you are satisfied with these items why you are searching for drinking water we know that there is nothing other than drinking water that can quench our thirst that's a reality so it is not a good habit to take too much of sugar during this climate and second main thing is coffee i know that many of them are addicted to coffee so some of the patients coming to the op what is the first thing they are telling is that um, morning as soon as i wake up i will be taking 2 to 3 cup of coffee so if you are taking 2 to 3 cup of coffee will you be having the appetite to take the breakfast never so you will be definitely skipping the breakfast and the main side effect is that many of them used to tell without taking a cup of coffee i cannot go to washroom so it is creating a dependency so these are the two main side effect next main thing is that any of the cola products you are taking it is containing half amount of caffeine and half amount of sugar so what is happening when you take the caffeine when you take the caffeine actually a lot of water is actually pulled out from your body in the form of urine in the form of sweat and your body is feeling dehydration so if your body is feeling dehydrated what is happening body heat is again increasing you cannot sleep well so caffeine or cola products are not at all a good choice during the summer climate and third main thing is about alcohol let me frankly tell you one thing in ayurveda it is told to take alcohol during the cold climate so why it is told to take during the cold climate 
because it can generate a heat inside your body so if it is creating a heat inside your body definitely you will be knowing isn't it you will be having a feeling of warmth and what happens is that the liver actually how it detoxifies this alcohol or wine or any other product it is actually pulling the water content from your circulatory system and from your muscles so here again we know that during the summer climate your body is already dehydrated however water you are taking definitely you will be sweating a lot and the liver if it is keeping on you are giving the job to the liver that is detoxification from where the liver have to pull the water again the liver have to pull the water content from the muscles and the circulatory system so will you be feeling weak or will you be feeling strong you will be feeling weak isn't it so it is not a good habit to take any alcohol or any wine products during this time and next main thing is spices you know that many of them used to tell doctor why don't you take spices if you take spices only our food will be getting digested let me ask you one simple thing whenever you take a spicy food what all is reactions are produced by your body you can see you will be having perspiration in your forehead isn't it and you will be having this feeling why because it is creating heat inside your body so if you are taking any spicy food any oily roasted food what is happening here also the same thing is produced inside your body so as it is creating over heat inside your body it is not good to take too much of spices during this climate and next main thing is juices so you will be thinking what is wrong with the juices so take the fruits as a fruits because the fruits as you take itself fully it can give you a cooling effect juices let me tell you one thing have you ever checked if you are giving ju- juices to a small kid if it is having a little cold or anything like that within a few minutes the kid will be vomiting why the kid will be vomiting because it is so heavy to get digested into their system but if you had given the fruit this will not have happened isn't it yeah juices when you take on the main thing is that here it is again increasing there's a derangement in the glucose and the insulin metabolism and absorption level so if there is a derangement in these things and all it is not easily digested in the body next main thing is it is diminishing your digestive fire so it is not a good choice now let me that you will be bored about the doctor is giving a long list of things which i cannot take so what i can take so let me come to that point so here let's try to take fruits and vegetable yeah fruits and vegetable you can take in its plain form vegetable salad if you having diminished um, appetite you can go with actually vegetable soup okay that will not be doing any harm to you in any state of your life so you can go with that because the sugar and the fructose inside it it is actually slowly only absorbed by the body and it is actually giving your body a cooling effect and a lot of antioxidants so it is a safe option to go with the fruits and the vegetable and next main thing what we can take is that let's go with taking buttermilk yeah buttermilk is a nectar whenever you are having any diarrhea you are having any constipation you are having any less appetite make sure you are taking half glass of boiled buttermilk in the afternoon not only that we know that centuries ago also the buttermilk was the drink which was always available in all the home because it can quench our thirst like anything it can produce cooling sensation to the body and third main thing is actually pudina leaves so pudina leaves how it is acting is that <coughs> pudina leaves or methi leaves pudina leaves or methi leaves actually it is uh, methi leaves is different sorry it is not the same as the pudina leaves so the pudina leaves uh, if you are preparing a juice with the pudina leaf half lemon and if for the taste you can add a little sugar candy and along with that a little salt and if you are drinking it can give you a lot of cooling sensation to your body so let's encourage taking the pudina chutney and all because it is doing good to your body and next main thing is you can go with actually onions onions in the salad form or the soup form it all can create a cooling effect to your body then most of them used to ask me whenever i am having any diarrhea doctor what food to take i am bored of this rice porridge so let's take 
boiled banana so boiled plantain how it is helping actually as always i am telling you it help you to re establish your gut microbiota yeah if at all you are a person suffering from diarrhea never forget to take this energy booster it is very good for you it is helping you to reduce your stress as it is containing tryptophan and all so never forget to take that and next main thing is we know that water so how much liters of water you have to drink and all debates are going on let me tell you one thing drink the water according to your thirst but make sure you are at least taking more than 500 ml of water but if you are a person suffering from any kidney diseases this law is not at all applicable for you whatever your doctor is telling you must obey and next main thing is let's prepare let's drink tender coconut water and if you are preparing lemon juice make sure you are adding sufficient amount of salt in it rather than sugar so these all are acting as nectar and is cooling our body and is reducing the heat inside the body hoping that this video is helpful for you have a great day